so I'll basically show you the thought process of how I create these like uh, how do you call them tribal shapes uh, and let me just grab one uh, reference image so you guys can kind of see how I uh, how I go about doing them we'll crop some stuff out so we uh, yeah I'll just show you how I uh, how I like to think these things through uh, lower the opacity a little bit it's like uh, 20 scale this up a little bit and I'll show you uh, the way that I go about handling these I used to have like a plugin from astute graphics for this but uh, sadly they became subscription based and I don't have the money to uh, to do that uh, anyway, uh, so how I use how I like to create my tribal shapes uh, is I, I'm just using a reference now. I usually make them a little bit from scratch, but I like to create circles uh, that kind of match up with the like flow of the uh, of the shape here. So, for example, a little bit like this. Uh, you're probably already seeing like what I'm trying to do here. Yeah, basically, like I'm working, uh, I'm trying to work out where, where uh, the ellipses that like make up these shapes here. And uh, sometimes it's better to turn these smart guides off so you can scale things a little bit more freely. Uh, and I think once this one crosses that one, we should be able to come up with a shape. Uh, I won't be, I won't say that this is the best one or because it might suck a little bit, but. Yeah, that's the, the way this process goes. So now I'm going to select all of these. And I'm going to grab the Shape Builder tool. And I'm basically holding Alt or Option to strip what we don't need. So we don't need this. We don't need any of this. We can cut this off. We can cut away this. And basically, yeah. Uh, Without holding Alt, you can like kind of make get these together. And now, oh, we didn't do any everything yet. So let's remove this one and unite these. Now, if we just make this invisible, here's your tribal shape. And of of course, you can like smooth these out. So there's a, uh, a smooth tool also in Illustrator. Basically, you can just smooth the lines out that you don't want to have like the hard edge on. And I'm not really too sure about this part. So. Uh, what we can do is just go here like this um, make it white, fill color white so we can kind of see um, what happens if we like punch that out. And if we go to the warp tool and we create like a bending arc like this, 